Okay, uh, we're going to convert degrees to radians, so that way, and then we're going to do vice versa. So we've written up two small formulas here. Um, the key feature is this kind of constant here of pi over 180. Um, the inverse just occurs uh, depending whether you're going from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. Okay. Um, so what this states is pi over 180 times whatever your degrees are will give you your radians. And your radians times 180 over pi will give you whatever your degrees are. So we can kind of, oops, let's go up, there you go. Maybe call that D and this R, okay? So we can remake this formula maybe so it's a little easier to memorize. It, think of it like D times pi over 180 equals R, and then vice versa, R times 180 over pi equals D. And uh, put that in red. Um, and really, you actually only need to memorize one of these, though I've shown you two. If you say this is the one you memorize, you can just um, remake the formula to isolate for D. So in this case, we've isolated for R, but if we wanted to isolate for degrees, all we have to do is, I'll rewrite this down there, D, D times pi would be D pi over 180, okay, is equal to R. We want to isolate for D, so I bring 180 over, so we get D pi is equal to 180 times R. And then they get d by itself, d is equal to 180 times r over pi. And you can kind of just have it as a section, but that's essentially the exact same point. So memorizing one of them is, is more than enough information. Um, so let's go through the process. Let's say we have uh, a very common value, our degrees is, is equal to 90. We want to convert it to radians, okay? So our little formula sets, um, it says that d times pi over 180 will be equal to whatever our radians are. So we'll replace D with 90. So we get 90 times pi over 180 equals R. So what this really ends up becoming is a practice in um, reducing fractions, okay? I can divide 90 into 90, you just give me one, and 90 into 180. So think of it like I've divided 90 into the top and 90 into the bottom. Whatever you do the top, you have to do the bottom essentially with fractions. So we're just reducing this value. Um, this would become 1 pi over 2, and we really don't need the 1, okay? So they write 90 degrees as pi over 2. So that's the radian measure to use it. Now, technically, pi over 2, um, let's go into it. Technically, doo -doo -doo, pi divided by 2 is a value, a ridiculous value. We're definitely not going to to write that number out, it's, it obviously continuously goes on forever and ever. So we write, whoops, we write the value in terms of pi so that it's much simpler for us to work with rather than extremely long decimal value, okay? Um, so with that being said, um, um, that's a really nice value we're working with, 90, and we can kind of write out, um, there's certain ones that are gonna be really nice to work with, and they're gonna essentially be kind of factors and multiples of 180, okay? So if we talk about, you know, factors, of 180. If you're looking at the degrees of obviously 1, 1's a factor, 2's a factor, 3's a factor, 4 goes in, 4 goes in, Just four four. Four yeah, yeah, 4 yeah. goes in, 5 goes in, 6 goes in, 7 no, 8, I don't think goes in nicely, 9 does, 10 does, uh, 11, no, 12, I don't think so. But essentially, here we go. So the point of this, and I'm not going to go through all the factors, is there are a ton of factors that really work out into nice fractions with the idea of 180. Now, there are values that aren't so nice. Say, for instance, if we're working with something like 70 degrees and we run through this, we might end up with something like uh, 70 pi over 180, a value we can't really reduce. Obviously, we can get rid of it by 10, so it'd be 7 over 18. But not the nicest value to work with. But all it is is a practice in reducing fractions, okay? And any factor or multiple of 180 will be really easy to reduce the fraction with, okay? Um, let's go vice versa. Now, first of all, when we're talking about ratings, we're hopefully always talking about them in terms of pi. So if I tell you um, 2 pi, so I'm going to say that my radians are equal to 2 pi here, okay? Well, remember our formula of degrees were equal to radian times 180 over pi, right? 
okay? We want to convert this radian here to our degrees. Now, hopefully they haven't written this as 2 pi in terms of a decimal because then it's a, quite a bit harder to work with. Um, I can talk about it, though. We can speak to it a little. Um, let's just kind of work with this. So we're going to plug in our R value here. So now we're going to get 2 pi multiplied by 180 over pi. And it's going to be equal to our degrees. Now, because this is multiplication, we can essentially kind of put this all over pi. And now you're looking at, well, pi divided by pi, they cancel out. And now we're just looking at 2 times 180. Well, 2 times 180 is 360. And that's true. 2 pi is equivalent of 360 degrees. Now, let's say they gave us a value like this, this super large number here. We can take this number, okay? So imagine they said, this is your degrees. Okay, so I'll kind of write it on, or sorry, this is your radian. So let's say radians equal 1.59, da 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 da. I'm not going to write it all the way out, right? Uh, oh, actually, I can just copy it and put it into our note here. Let's do that. Let's say they tell you this is your radian. Control V. Woo! Huge number. And they go convert it to degrees. Oh, wow, it took up two spaces. Uh, <laughs> what is this in degrees? Ugh. Not easy to work with. But I can hopefully use my calculator here. We want to factor out or common factor the value of pi. So I plug it in my calculator and then I try to divide by, oh, I lost my number. Actually, I think it should be already saved here. Yeah, it is. Divided by pi. So when we divide by pi, essentially what we're going to be looking for is the uh, the coefficient in front of pi. So it equals, let's see if it does it, uh, roughly 0 0.5. It actually is not roughly, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. So think of this like we took this huge value here and we've decided to divide it all by pi. So now we have pi times 0 0.5. Oops, that wasn't really nicely written. Pi times 0 0.5, okay. And 0 0.5 is a, as a fraction is, well, it's a half. So pi times a half. Pi over 2, exactly. And if, if you recall, that number was exactly what pi over 2 was. That was our 90 degrees. So then we can go into this step and convert this to degrees. So if they ever give it to you like that, which is very rare they do, you can try to factor out the pi value and hopefully you get a natural number to work with. Okay. Uh, 